And this afternoon, the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, led by Mr. Atiku Abubakar, has staged a protest from their office in Abuja to INEC office. Now, there is something I like about this protest PDP is staging today. You know, before, um, somebody like Atiku Abubakar, his um, running mate in person of Senator Dr. Ifan Yokoa, the governor of Delta State, and so many prominent uh, political ended, they don't come out for protests before. So today I'm happy to see that they are the one leading the protests. That is to tell you that things are changing. That is to tell you that the game is changing. Things are not like before again. Now, a lot of political ended before, they don't come out to protest. They pay money to the youth to come out and die. And let me tell you the importance of political end like coming out to protest. They might not be perfect. They might be protesting for nothing. Actually, everybody knows that PDP did not win the election. Um, from the result of what we are seeing from the Porter and the rest of things and where they are electoral practices, all those places, Labour Party, in the person of Peter being won the election in those places. So I don't really know why PDP is protesting. But the reason why it's important that political elites should leave protests is because when they are leading protests, police will not come out and shoot Atiku Abubakar. Police will not come out to shoot a governor, like in the person of Dr. Ifanyo Kowa. But when they leave ordinary youth, to be in the street the police can come out and intimidate them harass them and do what they like in case you made the video here is a part of the video of the protest <laughs> The last is yet to be heard of the outcome of the presidential election as the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Atiku Abubakar, and the vice presidential candidate, Dr. Ifanyo Koa, as well as other PDP leaders, lead a protest march to the headquarters of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Abuja. The takeoff point is the Legacy House, Abuja, where party supporters converged this morning to express their disappointment over the non-upload of the presidential results on the BVAS platform. The PDP candidate had earlier condemned the process leading to the victory of the APC candidate, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. The PDP, amongst others, demands is asking INEC to cancel the elections, maintaining that the process was compromised. Our correspondent, Emperor Simon, who is covering this protest, joins me now live. Hello, Emperor. Good morning. We've witnessed a couple of protests since the result of the presidential election was announced, but this one seems to be different, at least to some of the candidates who participated in the election. What's the situation right now where you are? Yeah, thank you very much, Olumide. Right now, you can see behind me uh, the Legacy House with a handful of uh, PDP supporters. The PDP presidential candidate in the 2023 general election, Mr. Atiku Abubakar, has just arrived. And any moment from now, we expect that the protest will begin. But it's a beehive of activities here at the, I mean, at the Legacy House where uh, party supporters have turned out dressed in black, ready to hit the street of Abuja to protest what the PDP presidential candidate himself had described as a rape on democracy. And so these people have turned out, we have party uh, Star Wars here, including some governors. Earlier on, the governor of Sokoto State, in person of Aminu Tambual, who was the chairman of the PDP presidential camp, I mean, the director general of the PDP presidential campaign council, 
arrived and um, a couple of other governors have arrived. Uh, we are also uh, expecting that and now that Mr. Tikwa Kubata is here, the protest will begin. You can see already people are setting out and uh, it's a thick crowd here uh, seeing the way people are uh, shouting and running to catch every glimpse of the moment. So, you see, the protest has begun. From the Legacy House, we're expecting that uh, these protesters will go up to INEC headquarters where they will be, uh, hopefully, engaging the INEC officials there. Olumide. Yes, Emperor. We've reported this morning that uh, they're calling for the cancellation of the elections because it's been heavily compromised for lack of the upload of the results to the BVAS platform at the time. You said some governors have arrived, you saw them earlier. Have the protests reiterated, the protesters reiterated this demands? Are there any additional demands? What have they been saying this morning? Well, uh uh, you, uh, on Thursday, when Mr. Tiku Abubakar addressed the press, uh, he did mention the fact that he would be challenging the 2023 presidential election on the basis that, uh, according to him, the poll was marred with so many uh, uh, irregularities. Uh, but it's shocking to see that uh, the party is eating the road despite the fact that it said it will go to the court. So this morning we do not know exactly what the prayers of the party will be at the INEC headquarters, uh, but we know that the party, the PDP, has already approached the court uh, uh, to, to, to seek redress. So we don't exactly know why they are now protesting to the INEC headquarters and what demands they will be making. Uh, of course, we know that during the collation of results at the International Conference Center, the PDP collation agent had demanded immediate review of the results, which was not uh, heeded to by the INEC national chairman. Uh, we don't know if that's exactly the same uh, demands they will be making at the INEC headquarters. Emperor, you said you are at the Legacy House, and we can see that, right? That's where you are. Yes, Emperor. You said you are at the Legacy House, which we can see. Um, how has this protest affected the city where you are and the immediate traffic situation around that specific environment? All right, a cameraman will just uh, perhaps give us uh, a glimpse of what we have here. Of course, there is traffic gridlock, I mean, there is gridlock uh, here at, uh, on the street of Abuja uh, because of this protest. Vehicular movement has been stalled and uh, this, no doubt, will affect a lot of things. Uh, knowing fully well that uh, the federal capital territory is also, uh, apart from being the capital of Nigeria, is also known for commercial activities. And so we, we're expecting that uh, these would affect so much of economic activities here in the federal capital territory. But you can see there is, I mean, vehicular movement has been stalled. And uh, <laughs> no doubt this will actually uh, affect movement this morning in the federal capital territory. Okay, Emperor, finally, I was going to ask you uh, what feelers are you getting from INEC, uh, but uh, obviously, as you say, they are yet to get to that destination to make their demands known. We expect that in the course of this day, we'll get a response uh, from INEC on their uh, position concerning the demands of the People's Democratic Party over their displeasure with the conduct of the national and presidential elections. Well, 
Edgar, you're, you're right, uh, Olumide. Uh, we don't know yet what the disposition of INEC will be towards this protest. If the national chairman would, I mean, the, the INEC chairman would come out to address them, or if he's going to send uh, a proxy or somebody to stand in the gap for him, uh, we don't yet know how INEC would respond to this. Already, of course, uh, INEC chairman had said that every aggrieved party in the 2023 presidential election should approach the court as the last resort. So we don't know how it's going to take this uh, protest uh, this morning by the People's Democratic Party. But we will, we will show a follow-up uh, to ensure that we bring every detail of this protest uh, to our viewers who are watching channels television for the latest information about this uh, protest. Thank you, Emperor. Yes, indeed. Channel Television, please stay with us for all the details concerning this protest that is going on at the moment, which we are covering for you live uh, from Abuja, the federal capital territory, our correspondent, Emperor Simon in the FCT.